just a rundown here is a factory bulb right here and then this is the Basla LED bulb you can kind of see it on my hand there so there's a factory bulb kind of a very orange dull light and like I said at nighttime these things are terrible you can't see anything put my hand in front of the Basla bulb I mean look at that that is super super extra super bright very very clean white light right there um, no doubt that's going to be extremely bright all right so again that is what the 65k looks like and it is not completely dark out here yet but you can definitely tell they are very bright and the next setting this is going to be the 43k so this is going to be 4300 definitely has a pretty yellow tint but still pretty bright and then this is going to be the 3000 K very very yellow and the next setting is going to be the warning flash that it does in the yellow color so both headlights are flashing that is not my hazards that is the actual headlight bulbs All right guys, so we got one light in. We did the driver's side real quick. And I'm gonna go over what you have to do. Um, there's actually a couple different ways you can do this, but this is the way I do it on the fortunes. I actually will pop back the, I will pull back the uh, grill, which has 10, uh, 10 millimeter right here, 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here, which is what's currently holding my grill up right now because all I did was just kind of pull it back to get to the hardware on the headlight um, I didn't take it all the way off because I have construction lights mounted to the grill and I don't want to have to undo all the wiring for those right now so we just kind of have it sitting back but anyway after you pull the top panel off that goes right here which just pops in with these little clips that'd be the first thing you're gonna pop that off and then take off all those 10 millimeters and then you have a 10 millimeter that goes here that holds on the headlight and then you got one that goes right here that goes straight down uh, which is a little bit longer one it goes straight down and then above your tire and your fender liner you will see right here a little access panel you will stick your hand up in there and there's actually a little plastic clip that you have to uh, push up and it will release the headlight and then sometimes they're pretty snug to get them to pop out but after that you just pull the headlight straight out and it comes out um, so again we already put this bulb in from Basla so I'm going to turn them on so you can see the difference between the Basla bulb LED bulb and the factory bulb and just a rundown here is a factory bulb right here and then this is the Basla LED bulb big difference so let's see what it looks like headlights on we'll have to do a nighttime comparison as well now there you go very nice super white light 6500k versus the the orange yellow ish color of the factory bulb that you can see you can kind of see it on my hand there so there's a factory bulb kind of a very orange dull light and like I said at nighttime these things are terrible you can't see anything put my hand in front of the Basla bulb I mean look at that that is super super extra super bright very very clean white light right there um, no doubt that's going to be extremely bright at nighttime. Just looking at it in front of the truck, I mean, it's, it's pretty bright on your eyes. So, there you go. We're going to do the passenger side real quick. Um, I'm going to take the hardware off of it, and then we'll get them both in, and then we'll show the differences in the different modes. All right, guys, so we have the passenger headlight out as you can see, and really no need to completely remove it if you don't have to. Um, this is pretty much a plug-and-play deal 
So just like I did the driver's side, you're gonna remove this big cap right here. And that literally just untwist, just like so. I'm gonna put that over here for a second. And then your bulb is right here. So you'll twist that out to the left, pop it out. And then you have one connector right here and you'll undo that and that's it. And then your new LED will be plugging into the factory connector. Now I wanna note, note one thing, that the connector on the new light can be plugged in both ways. So after you plug in the light, go turn the headlights on and make sure it comes on. If it does not come on, then unplug the connector and turn it 180 degrees, plug it back in, and that should get you going. As you see, this plug will plug in to the factory harness both ways. So you have to make sure that the positive and negative is connected the right way. Otherwise the light will not turn on. And that is it, very simple. So just make sure you turn it on before you put everything back together and it comes on. If it does not come on, just completely reverse the plug 180, plug it back in, test it, it should come on should be ready to go. Another thing you wanna do before you install the new LED light is you have to remove the glass that's on the end of this bulb. There's a sticker on there. So just remember to remove that glass, otherwise you're not gonna get the light output that you should be receiving. So just remove the glass, discard it, and then this simply plugs in just like the factory headlight. Pops in, turns, and locks, and you're good to go. So as you see, we have the new Basel bulb installed in the headlight. We just have to make the connection. And I was right on the first one. If you see on the plug here, there's a plus and a minus for positive and negative. I was pretty much thinking that the white wire would be the positive. So that's the way I plugged it in the first time and the bulb did work. So we're gonna do this on this side and see if it works the same. All right, we got it plugged in. So before we put all of our wiring inside the light and hook it all up and mount it back up we're going to turn the headlights on make sure that this light is working also all right we have a headlight it is working as you can see so we're going to put everything back together now we're just going to carefully drop in all the wiring and the little module inside the headlight housing there's plenty of room right here to do this. Just when you do it, you want to make sure you're not going to jam anything inside the little fan motor for the headlight. That way it does get all the cooling and it don't stop the fan blades. So we're good. We're just going to put the little cap back on the back of the headlight, just like that. And then we're going to mount the headlight back in and then check out the three and then check out the extra features that the lights do by changing different colors and the flashers so let's get this thing back together all right guys so we are gonna test out these headlights real quick on all the settings i'm gonna do it with us inside the truck as you can see we're looking out the windshield here and then i will get outside the truck and you can check them out um, from the outside view but we're gonna turn them on uh, so the first setting which is pretty much the default setting as soon as you turn the lights on it's going to go to the 65k all right so here's the 65k and that's looking down my driveway definitely pretty bright all right so again that is what the 65k looks like and it is not completely dark out here yet but you can definitely tell they are very bright and the next setting, this is going to be the 43K. So this is going to be 4300. Definitely has a pretty yellow tint, but still pretty bright. And then this is going to be the 3000K. Very, very yellow. And the next setting is going to be the warning flash that it does in the yellow color. So both headlights are flashing. That is not my hazards. That is the actual headlight bulbs. So let's go check out the 6500K. As you can see, we got a very white light on the ground, very bright. 
<laughs> it definitely has that LED look to the lights. Uh, they're so bright, it's really hard to, <laughs> to kind of see it in the camera there, but you can definitely see it on the ground that they're very, very bright, very white. So now we're going to change it to the 4300K. So I'm going to turn the lights off, turn them back on. So that's 4300K. You can see how much yellow that is. You can see how much more yellow that is on the 4300K. Still very bright though. And the headlights don't really look, you can't really see, per se, a yellowish color in the headlights, but it definitely puts out a yellow tint, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to switch it to the 3000K, which is going to be super yellow. So we're going to flip the headlights again. There we go. Now you can tell that is super, super yellow. Still gets a really good beam out there though. It's still very bright. Very, very yellow. And now the headlights does look super yellow as you can tell. Now we're going to switch them to the hazard or the warning flasher option. So all we're going to do is flip the headlights off and then back on again. And now both headlights are actually flashing as if it was the hazards on the vehicle. And that is the actual LED bulbs flashing. That's both headlights definitely pretty cool and when they're doing the flashing I believe it's in the 3000 K setting and then if we cycle the lights again turn them off turn them back on then we go back to the 6500 K